Good morning, everyone. My name is Tyler Kaufman. It's my privilege to be the lead pastor here at Leewood United Methodist Church. And on behalf of the entire congregation, welcome to worship this morning. We're really excited to have you here for this cantata to share in the joyous music of the season with one another. Before we begin, I have just a few announcements for you. Some of them are how you participate in the cantata this morning. Uh, you're invited to remain seated as we sing together to join us uh, in singing. Melanie, if there comes a time for you to stand, we'll gesture for you to stand, and I hope that you'll stand and sing at those moments. Uh, I want to share a couple other things that are going on. We have a place for you to share some pictures of your past Christmases with us. Uh, we're calling this Vintage Christmas. The cantata will hope you take you back to some of the memories of yesteryear, I invite you to bring in some old photos of you as a child or of your children and to share them with us out in the narthex. We also have some questions there for you to answer, things that will hopefully help you get in the season. There are little uh, multicolored pieces of paper at the end of the pews, and those are for you to write the answers to those questions on. We have some more out there if you want to do that. You can also find other things that are going on here at the church in your little insert inside your bulletin. Uh, if you're at home watching online, we're glad that you're joining us that way. You can also find that information on the screens. Uh, of course, first of all, I just want to let you know that the Gingerbread House Party is coming up. I hope that you'll come and decorate gingerbread houses with us. Uh, Melanie and some of the other musicians are going to also be playing carols for us to sing along with, and that is on uh, next Saturday at 4 o'clock, so I hope that you'll come to that. And then the day after is the kids' Christmas pageant. And we'll do that during worship as well. So I invite you to come back next Sunday to hear them sing. You'll get to hear a little bit of their beautiful voices this morning and get to hear them run some lines next week. So I hope you'll come back and enjoy that with us. Uh, and then lastly, we have a longest night service. I know this is not always the happiest of times for everyone. We grieve the loss of loved ones that aren't around with us during the Christmas season. But there are many other ways that we grieve. Uh, maybe you've been through a difficult uh, medical trial, maybe uh, you've been divorced, maybe uh, you have just don't have somebody around that you had in the past, and this is a moment to just kind of recognize that in this time of joy and lights, that sometimes there are dark moments that we're also uh, trying to deal with, and so I invite you to come to that, or to come and just be there for others. It's also a great time to just have your presence be a light to those around you. So hope that you'll join us for that. That's Wednesday, December 20th at 7 o'clock. Oh, and then finally, the last one, you'll also find this on your insert, uh, is that we are going to be doing Christmas gift bags. Uh, we give those to holiday workers. So the Christmas Eve morning, we'll have worship, and that's an Advent worship service. And then we'll do some gift bags and then go home and have a little fun with our family, open some other gifts, and then come back uh, that evening for Christmas Eve worship. And again, hear some wonderful music by some of these musicians. So I'm so glad that you all are here. Will you just join me in an attitude of prayer as we prepare our hearts to receive all this wonderful gift of music this morning? Gracious God, we thank you for the gift of your presence the gift of music, and the gift of being able to be with one another. For this space of warmth away from the cold and chill of the air this season, we pray that you would speak to our hearts, renew our hope, renew our love, renew our joy, and ultimately renew our peace. We might find joy in the moments of hearing little voices, in the smiles of friends and loved ones. Help us to open our eyes to see the goodness around us. In your holy name we pray, amen. I'm going to make one clarification. <laughs> um, we are going to let you relax and um, enjoy the service this morning, so you can stay seated the whole time. But I will ask you to sing along with us with gusto um, at, from time to time.
rediscover the great things that God has done in story and song, in silence and sacrament. We are reminded that God's relationship with us lasts forever. Here with these people, we find our true home, which we can run to laughing after being lost for so long. Here, during this holy season, we hear those promises made so long ago of the one who repairs all of our mistakes, of the one who reshapes our brokenness. Let us worship God. Hear this good news from the Gospel of John. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. What came into being through the Word was life, and the life was the light for all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness doesn't extinguish the light. This Word has been revealed through a great cloud of witnesses who in their own time and place were a part of God's plan for the salvation of the world. Through Abraham and Sarah, through Moses and Elijah, through the people of Israel and the prophets, and through the countless faithful of all the ages, God's redemptive work has been revealed. We remember especially in our service today those who were faithful witnesses to the advent and nativity of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And we are reminded that we too are among the cloud of witnesses. We are called in our own time to heed the ancient cry of the prophet, get you up to a high mountain, O Zion, herald of good tidings. Lift up your voice with strength, O Jerusalem, herald of good tidings. Lift it up, do not fear. Say to the cities of Judah, here is your God. Arise, shine, for your light has come, for the glory of the Lord is risen upon you.
Good morning. This is the second Sunday in the season of Advent, when we focus our hearts and minds on the arrival of God's Son, Jesus Christ. Today we come to reclaim the light of peace. Peace as we trust God's power. Peace as we know the Spirit's presence. Peace as we follow Jesus' path. Peace within our hearts and peace throughout our world. For the yoke of their burden and the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor, you have broken as on the day of Midian. For all the boots of the tramping warriors and all the garments rolled in blood shall be burned as fuel for the fire. In the days of King Herod of Judea, there was a priest named Zechariah, and he and his wife Elizabeth were both righteous before God. They had no children because Elizabeth was barren, and both were getting on in years. While he was in the temple, an angel appeared to Zechariah and said, Do not be afraid, Zechariah, for your prayer has been heard. Your wife Elizabeth will bear a son, and you will name him John. He will turn many of the people of Israel to the Lord their God. It was on the eighth day after John was born that Zechariah and Elizabeth took their newborn son to the temple to be circumcised. There, Zechariah was filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for we will be given a mighty Savior. And you, my child, will be called a prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare the way for him. The dawn from on high will break upon us to give light to those who sit in darkness, to guide their feet into the way of peace.
the angel Gabriel came to Mary and said, Greetings, favored one. The Lord is with you. You will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great. He will be called Son of the Most High, and the Lord will give him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and his kingdom will have no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. Then Mary said, Here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Thank you. 
Good morning, guys. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell everybody what you taught me. <laughs> you guys seen lots of these these days? It is an Amazon package. So I want you just to think about it in your head, okay? You're going to come up with just one answer. It's going to be really hard. Do you have a favorite gift you've ever received for your birthday or Christmas or another holiday? An absolute favorite. Only one. Can't tell me two. Only going to tell me one. How about you, Millie? A camera? That's a good one. A drone. <laughs> a drone. A Lego set that the tiger has pretty cool. Corbin. And then, um, a Corbin set that was a orange pickup truck. Nice a techno a orange pickup truck. All right, Liam. A VR, a VR headset. Did you figure it out? Huh? Oh, the harp. Yeah, that's a pretty cool gift, isn't it? <laughs> you didn't know you were giving away your harp this morning, did you? <laughs> How about you, Ian? Pretty hard to just pick one, isn't it? I bet you've received lots of cool stuff. Lenny, do you have a favorite gift? No? I'll let you think about it and you can tell me later, all right? Oh, you have it? Okay. Oh, your drum set. That is a pretty cool one. I've seen that drum set. It's a pretty awesome drum set. <laughs> <laughs> well, I received lots of cool gifts too when I was a kid, but I don't remember a whole lot of the ones that I received that came in packages, and none of them came in packages like this, because when I was your age, Amazon didn't exist. Can you believe that? It didn't exist at all, 100%. I believe you. You think I'm that old? Thanks, man. I know what that is. So, one of the cool gifts I received was made by somebody, a pastor that I lived next door to. Him and his wife would make every single year a nativity for the kids that were at the church. And this is one of them. We got a different piece each Sunday. So this is what it looked like. The only thing that I think is really funny about this nativity set is Mary has very white hair, and she was like only a teenager. And it's kind of silly. I don't know how she had such white hair, but it looks a little bit more like Sarah. Sarah was like 99 when she had, had a baby. <laughs> All right. So you know that I've been making a nativity set for you, right? Because I want to carry that tradition on. So you got this last week, right? Yeah. yeah. And I reminded you that you have some special light to shine, right? I did. Well, we left somebody out of the story. You didn't get one last week. That's right. Would you like this one? You can have that one. And then this week, you're welcome. This week, uh, we are learning in the cantata all about the Christmas story. But I noticed that there's somebody that got left out. And I think it's partially because... He is not listed as saying anything in the Gospel of Luke or the Gospel of Matthew. And that's Joseph. But I think he had some pretty important jobs in the Christmas story. You think his headband lights up, don't you? Should we see if you're right? Ooh, he glows! You can charge him up in the sun. And this is a reminder that even... If you don't have a whole lot to say, you can still shine your light and share your love with others. So each one of you gets one of those. Make sure you take one for your sister, too. You'll get another one next week. So if you come back each week, you'll get one. And if you don't come back each week, you'll have to come into the office and ask me for one. And I'll have to give you some quiz questions or something. <laughs> You're welcome. You guys pray with me? No, that's for another day. You already know what they all are, I know. All right, let's, can you guys do a repeat after me prayer? We'll use that next time. <laughs> you guys do a repeat after me prayer? Dear God, Dear God thank you for living in our hearts and helping us to share the light of your love with others. Amen. Have a good day, guys. <laughs> hey, 
In that region there were shepherds in the fields, keeping watch over their flocks by night. An angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were terrified. The angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom God favors.
Behold, a simple, tender babe in freezing winter night, in homely manger, trembling lies. Alas, a piteous sight. The inns are full. No man will yield this little pilgrim bed. But forced he is with silly beasts in crib to shroud his head. Despise him not for lying here. First, what he is inquire. An orient pearl is often found in depths of dirty mire. Weigh not his crib, his wooden dish, nor beasts that by him stand. Weigh not his mother's poor attire, nor Joseph's simple strand. This stable is a prince's court. This crib is chair of state. The beasts are parcel of his pomp. The wooden dish is plate. The persons in that poor attire his royal liveries wear. The prince himself is come from heaven. This pomp is praised there. With joy approach, O Christian white, do homage to thy king, and highly praise this humble pomp, which he from heaven doth bring.
the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem asking, Where is the child who has been born King of the Jews? For we have observed his star at its rising, and we have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened, and all Jerusalem with him. And calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, In Bethlehem of Judea, as it has been written by the prophets. Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me word so that I may go and also pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out, and there, ahead of them, was the star they had seen at its rising, until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then, opening their treasure chest, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh.
The shepherds praised God for all they had seen and heard. The angels sang Gloria in excelsis. The magi fell down and worshiped the newborn savior. And now these words from the hymn, All My Heart Again Rejoices, written more than 350 years ago, speak across the centuries and call us to take our place in the great cloud of witnesses. Come then, let us hasten yonder. Here let all, great and small, kneel in awe and wonder. Love him who with love is yearning. Hail the star that from afar bright with hope is burning.
so beautiful. Thank you so much, Melanie, for that gift. Thank you, choir. Thank you, musicians. Thank you for all for singing along, and uh, also to Paul Wolf and Delane Cohen for being our readers this morning. And thank you, kids. Can we get another round of applause for them? I hope many of you will come back next week and see the children's pageant. Uh, at this time, we are going to have our benediction, uh, and then afterwards, we have some uh, cookies and things to have fellowship if you would like to stick around and chat. But before any of that, well, we have a postlude actually. So we'll invite you after the benediction to uh, be seated and enjoy that. Um, leave if you need to. Uh, but also, there is some beautiful things yet to be enjoyed. So would you please join me in ascending blessing that we can offer one another? May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and grant you peace. Amen.